What is up my dudes, it is Valken, and I totally missed my three months on T-Mark, so I am here, hold on, I'm gonna fix this, I am here for my hundred days on T-Mark, um, my one month on, or my three, my one month, my three months on T was sometime last week, it was the 6th of September, it is the 14th now, so it was eight days ago, okay, maybe, not last week, the week before last, anyway, anyway, we're moving on, um, I have experienced a little bit of change since last time. Um, not too much. It's just kind of like been progressively getting hairier, you know, becoming more comfortable with being this hairy. It's more just kind of like me changing than my body changing. But I will start off with the physical changes and then I will go into the emotional changes that I've had since the last time I updated you guys. Um, first off with physical changes, obviously the hair, the hair is everywhere. Um, I shaved at around 75 days on tea and it has almost all grown back and it grew back a little bit thicker. Um, I don't think that's because of shaving though. I think that's just because it's growing like that. You can almost see it. This is really shitty camera quality. I'm so sorry, but my neck, my hair like up here connects to my neck hair and I have neck hair like right here and right here. And then I also have a little bit of a mustache, and I'm getting a little bit of a soul patch, which is strange, because I have my Libre pierced, and so it's really hard to shave. Um, other than that, I have back hair that's pretty intense. I have butt hair that's pretty intense. I don't know how I feel about that one yet. I'm starting to get chest hair, which I don't really like since I haven't had top surgery yet, but I do like the idea of me having flat chest with chest hair. So I'm not going to complain about it. Um, what else? I have noticed my happy trail got taller. By taller, I mean I used to go from my um, from the bottom of my stomach to like right above my belly button, and now it goes about to the bottom of my binder, which I wear the half tanks. So say like right under my breast. That's about where it stops. And it's kind of like spread wider, like instead of just like an up and down, it's kind of going like whoosh. Like if this were the bottom of my binder, it goes down and then it comes out at the bottom of my stomach. And that's really cool. That's uh, something that's new. I am, I shave my head for sort of like a liberation type feeling. I don't know. I was like, I want to feel liberated. Let me shave my head. So I did. And I kind of got to see that like my hairline is receding. Uh, you can tell that it's thinner in the areas like right there, and it's a little bit thinner on this side. It's a lot thinner on this side than it is on this side. I don't like that, my uneven uh, receding hairline. But hopefully that'll all like balance out eventually. Hope I don't go bald. Um, other than that, I've noticed that my voice, although it has dropped since the last video, it has dropped multiple times since the last video, I'm... Uh, I'm very expressive with my voice, so when I talk, it sounds higher, and this is also, like, my comfortable zone with talking. Like, I could talk down here, and I could be like, hey, hey, what's up, guys? My name is Valken. How are you guys doing? What up, my dudes? But I'm not going to talk like that, because I don't feel like that's comfortable for me. So I, um, I kind of, I really dig my voice. I feel like, I feel like this is kind of the stopping point. If it gets deeper, that's rad, but I mean... If it stops right here, that's rad too. I love it where it is. Um, I think that's about all the physical changes, though. Um, I've had a little bit of body fat redistribution, seeing as my cheeks look less round than they used to. Like, if you, like, let's go in the light. You can see that, like, they're more flat than round. Like, they go like this, whereas they used to be, like, they used to be, like, curved little chunky fuckers. And now they're not. So, uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, my stomach and my hips have kind of started to do that rectangular thing. They aren't exactly there yet. I still have, like, a little bit of curve, but it used to be, like, bam. So this compared to this is a lot better, you know? Um, I've been, uh, kind of trying to, like, track my weight since I started T, and I know that when I started T, I weighed 180, and I'm 5'2", so I'm overweight, I know that. But it's just, I feel like that weight is turning more into muscle now. And while I haven't been working out, like, consecutively, I have been trying to work out um, just between school and work. And it's been crazy, and it's been rough. But I do feel like I'm building muscle, 
and I do feel stronger than I was before I started tea and I don't know if that's the tea itself or me working out or just you know constantly being active um, either way I'm really loving that I uh, I've also experienced the fact that I think tea is usually supposed to make your blood thicker like that's what I was told by my endo he said that I had to take um, aspirin like a baby aspirin a day to make sure that my blood didn't get too thick and um, that's not the case for me my blood did not change at all I don't know if that's the same for any of you guys if it is leave a comment tell me what happened if you guys know what happened to your blood after you started tea but um, I started taking that aspirin and I got really bad nosebleeds because my blood was getting so thin and like every single time I got like even the tiniest nick I would bleed so much and so I no longer take any sort of blood thinners um, other than that, I don't think there's many physical changes. I know the blood doesn't really go with the physical change thing. I just thought about that. Uh, what else? I um, I can go into the emotional changes now. Uh, I have been... I'm bipolar, for those of you who don't know. So going on testosterone was a really big choice, basically because of my like already really high highs and really low lows. And um, I'm not on any medicine. For those of you who don't know, I went off all my medicine around February of this year. I decided that all natural was better for me. And um, I kind of expected testosterone to make them more intense, like where I'd be really happy for a long time, and then I would just get like super depressed and it would like completely annihilate my mental state. But to be honest, and this is like serious, I feel like testosterone has helped me balance out my emotions more, and that may be because it just makes me feel more comfortable in my own body, so I don't have as much social anxiety, and I don't really experience um, as much dysphoria as I used to, and I don't really focus that much on me anymore. I kind of dropped my ego after I started to, just because I wanted to like let it take its own course, so I think that has helped me a lot emotionally in like staying in a stable mental state. And I have also experienced that um, my dysphoria changed, and I think I talked about this in my last video a little bit, but my dysphoria kind of moved from, like, where, as it was my voice being too high or, like, my body being too feminine, it's changed more to, like, my chest is, like, too big, or, like, I don't wear certain clothes because I feel like they fit my curves too much, and, I mean, I do feel that with, like, the longer I stay on testosterone, of course, I feel like my curves are going to, like, get smaller, they're going to become more rectangular, and the muscle, I really have to work on myself, that's all on me, so I'm pretty happy lately with just, like, my body and my dysphoria, although it's been high with my chest, I just kind of, like, I avoid it. I avoid looking at mirrors and stuff like that, and I just try to find shirts that, like, really fit well like this. Like, I feel like if you look at this, you can't tell that I have breasts. You can't tell at all, and I'm binding, and it's just, like, good. Like, black gets rid of all shadows, so black is a very good color for me um, when it comes to, like, my really dysphoric days. Other than that, I don't think there's that many updates. Um, I have started uh trying to save more for top surgery just because my dysphoria has been so intense um completely centered around my chest and i've also started thinking about bottom surgery it was not um a thing when i first started transitioning i did not want bottom surgery at all but um as i progress more and more you know it's kind of like oh i wish i didn't have to wear my stp so i didn't have to sit down in the bathroom you know and it's like, I know there are ways where you can like stand and pee and you don't have to have a surgery or anything, but it's like, I feel like I would almost feel more comfortable with this being different. Like, I feel like that would match me more. And, you know, that's honestly something that I'm going to have to deal with later in life because I don't have the money or really, I don't think I'm in the state of mind to make that decision right now. So that's something for later in life, but I do want to keep you guys updated on everything that's going through my head while I transition. Um, not only for you guys, but for me to look back on later. I, uh, I think that's about it as for updates. I know this is a really long video, it's like 10 minutes, but I have been gone for like a month. <laughs> so to summarize a month in 10 minutes, I think is pretty good. Uh, for those of you who want to know, my dosage is, um, half a milliliter, or 
200 a week. What is it? I don't remember. Oh gosh, I have my I have my thing right here. I will be right back. Ah, I'm literally right here. You guys can still see me. I don't even know why I said I'd be right back. 200 milligrams, yeah, a week, or half a milliliter. Or wait, no. 100 milligrams a week. My bad, my bad. Don't listen to me, I'm dumb. Half a milliliter or 100 milligrams a week, and I do inject it in my thighs. I switch thighs every week. Um, that has also become harder since I started tea. I don't like giving myself the shots as much as I used to. Um, it's become more bothersome lately, so I feel like maybe later in life after I have been on testosterone for a few years, I may change to, like, a gel or something, just because giving yourself a shot every week is a little, like, ah, I don't know. I don't like having to do it. But, um, other than that, there's not much else that I want to update you guys on. Um, just a little self-advertising right here. I still do have my GoFundMe up for my top surgery. It does not have, um, near my goal. I think I have around $200, and it's an $8,000 goal. Which, I mean, even if I could get, like, two or three grand, that would be so much help. It is so hard to save while you're in high school. And I'm having to buy all my textbooks. And I'm having to, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm having to pay for living. And, you know, I'm thinking about college right now. And it's it's stressful, but it is very worth it. I do still hope to have my top surgery in the next year or so. Um, whether or not that's going to happen is a big a big question but I do I would really sincerely appreciate anyone who clicked the link to my top surgery I will put it in the description and I'll also I will share it on my Facebook I will share it on my Instagram I will share it on my Tumblr Twitter anything that I can um, if you guys could donate it like it share it anything I would be so grateful it's a really really hard thing to save that much money especially when I have not had the best financial state lately I out of my mother and I am the only one with a job, so I usually pay all the bills, and that makes it really hard for me to save. So if you guys could pitch in anything, I would be so grateful. Um, other than that, that's about all I have for you guys. So if I have another update, I'll try to update you guys, you know, whenever that happens. But if not, then I'll see you guys at my four months. So, yeah. See you uh, next time.